So this is just going to be a quick, simple and fun tutorial. We're going to create this rolling carpet animation. And we can actually achieve this very simply using a cube and the bend modifier. So I'm going to start by creating a cube. And I'm just going to adjust... Uh, I can't see the manipulation handles here. Just trying to grab this orange point here to adjust the height. But the axis was in the way. I'm just going to adjust the length. And I'm going to go to display Gorad shading lines. So the size Y um, is a piece of carpet, so it's going to be quite thin, um, maybe even one centimeters. And I'm going to add some cross sections into this, uh, not along Y, but along Z like this, because it's basically rolling out. So we need a lot of cross sections along Z. I'm actually going to start with quite a high number, maybe 200. Next, I'm going to create a bend modifier. And I'm going to make this a child of the cube. I'm just going to call the cube carpet. So I'm going to click on the bend modifier. And I'm going to choose fit to parent. So it basically makes it the exact same size as the carpet's cube object. So I'm just going to adjust the strength and we can see it's bending the wrong way. So I need to rotate this maybe 90 degrees this way. And then I'm going to click fit to parent again, increase the strength again. And I think we need to rotate it again 90 degrees this way, fit to parent. And this is the direction I want it to bend in. So just keep rotating 90 degrees and clicking fit to parent until you get the correct direction. Now this is um, too long. So I'm just going to adjust the size of this band modifier. We can adjust it here. And I'm just going to bring it to the edge here. I'm going to adjust strength again. And this is pretty much the effect we want. So I can actually bend it all the way back like this and then I can actually move the bend back to the beginning and we get this kind of strange uh, get this strange effect basically what you want to do is click fit to parent again and now we can actually roll this out which is really cool. So I'm just going to go to my side view uh, just to see the cross section of this. So here we go. So we can see that we don't have enough cross sections. Uh, we need actually quite a few. So I'm going to increase the cross sections to 400. Sorry. It's actually displaying, uh, this is quite annoying, it's displaying lines, which isn't actually polygons. If I click wireframe, now we're getting the accurate uh, kind of slice count. So 200 was actually okay. Seems kind of detailed enough. Now one thing you'll notice is uh, the carpet's basically intersecting itself and it should be kind of more of a, a helix effect. So. I've actually already figured out how to do this. I'm not sure why it works, but basically if you go to the coordinates tab of the band modifier and then just set the bank to 91, you can see it kind of pop up and now we're not getting intersection, which is pretty cool. So 91 seems too high, so I'm just going to give it 90.2 and it's still kind of intersecting, so maybe 90.4. And that looks quite cool because like they're kind of touching but they're also not intersecting. It really does look like kind of carpet uh, rolled up. I'm just going to turn off the bend modifier so you can see it a bit more accurately. So that looks quite realistic. And if we move the bend modifier along Z, you can see it rolling out. So the last step is just simply to uh, animate this. So I'm going to start at frame 0, put a keyframe on the Z 
position of the bend object, then come to frame 50, and roll this out, out here, go keyframe there, and play this back. Just hide the bend modifier. And there we go, you can use this uh, for a motion graphics project where maybe you need like a red carpet rolling out in the intro. Uh, the length's completely adjustable, um, except it's a bit tricky. So if you want to make this longer, you'll obviously have to redo the keyframes, but um, let's say we increase C and I'm just going to get rid of the keyframes on the bend uh, modifier for now. So basically, if we then bring this back, we get that kind of glitch. So all you have to do is just set it to the beginning and then go to bend, fit to parent, and then you have to kind of roll it in even tighter. So just have to increase this value. And now we can move the bend and we can animate an even longer piece of carpet. So uh, there's actually an Espresso tutorial on how to do this. I might do that next, but this is the very simple version. Uh, if you found it useful, please share it. And thanks for watching.